Brian, did you see the new mug shots of Vince McMahon and Kevin Dunn on the that have been circulating, pulled from the WWE corporate website, I guess? These these fine new portraits of what they look like today in present time. I saw the new photos. They weren't mug shots, although it does make you question what the modern Vince would look like in a mug shot. It, it looks like... Who pushed that Vince, woman off a cliff? That guy. Well, yeah, Vince still looks like he's foreclosed on an orphanage on his way to captain a balloon in a round-the-world balloon race, but Kevin Dunn has had his teeth fixed. And everybody was talking about this. He's finally taken my suggestion and taken some of the millions of dollars that he's made on that stock and gone to the fucking dentist. He looks like... Well, I can't... His, his mouth looks like it belongs to a normal human now. But now he's made some other odd choices because since the last time I've seen him, he's he never had an abundance of hair in all areas of his head. There were some spots, but he had hair back in the day. But now he's lost so much of it in so many different places, he can't really just let it grow out because then it looks like he's got the mange or he's undergone some kind of radiation poisoning. So, But he can't shave it all the way slick like Stone Cold or somebody like that because... Even though he's got his teeth fixed, he still has a head that's somewhat rodent-shaped, being a member of the beaver family. So if he shaved it slick, he'd look like an uncircumcised penis sticking up out of a fucking collar of a dress shirt. So what he's done is he's gone for the gray stubble look where he still looks like he has hair if he'd let it go out, but at the same time, he really doesn't. Did I describe that for the folks who haven't seen that picture? In the last few seconds, you tore down his teeth, his bald head, his beaver-shaped face, and his facial hair. I, I said rodent-shaped head. Oh, excuse me. That's indeed what you said. Not beaver-shaped. That just wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Reggie's Corner. <laughs> oh, and we're so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead but anyway because because at at one point at one point didn't kevin dunn have a fucking like an egg or the equivalent equivalent egg. of it on the website there was no picture of him up there i think that is true actually on the corporate website yes yes and then now finally he has acquiesced to have his mug put up there but only after he's undergone extensive work on his grill and his general grooming and demeanor I bet he was wearing makeup, too, because he, he's always had a, a fairly sallow, unhealthy pallor to him. Meanwhile, Vince is over there with more makeup on than fucking Tammy Faye when she went to the mall. That's the other thing. I mean, if you look at these guys, these are the same people that were running the company 25 years ago, 30 years ago. <laughs> Their hair is dark. Vince's hair is darker now, and Kevin's teeth are newer. I mean, did you ever think, looking at them then, that, like... In 30 years' time, both of these guys will look like different people. <laughs> no, I, I never thought... Vince looks nuts. That photo looks like it was Photoshopped. It looks like he looked nuts already in the photo, and they're like, oh, man, he looks yeah. too nuts. How do we clean up all this nuts? Let's try something. These nuts. This is the best we could do. And that's what that photo is. That's There's something oh, yeah. going on. I never thought that Kevin Dunn would even try because of what he was starting out with. He didn't have that much to work with. It seemed like a fucking fruitless task. But with Vince, I never thought that he would crack up to the point where he changed his appearance completely to, but I guess I should have all along. I just thought he was too proud. And he would, this is what I am, pal. You know what? I still look good or whatever. But he you know, with the hair color and the mustache and the whatever the tweaks and tucks and nips and valleys and whatever the fuck has gone on, I get, he can't be 80. He just doesn't want to. No, so, so, he got, so he's wearing a mustache that no one wears since the 1920s. <laughs> That'll throw everyone off the scent, dressing hey, like a silent film star. I'm telling you, he thought a lot of Raymond Navarro. Back in the day, you know, in the trailer park yeah. in the 40s, they, they down there in, in that part of North Carolina, they were about 10 years behind on the movies. 
So, you know, Clark Gable. Uh, no, Clark was that 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 fresh faced young newcomer. Uh, that was Errol Flynn. Uh, I, I think we're going more for Conrad Veidt. Fairbanks. There you go, Fairbanks. That's what he's a swashbuckler. And didn't we say not long ago that people don't buckle enough swashes anymore? There's a word you could add to there, that list. There is not enough swashbuckling. Put. Put fucking Vince McMahon's. I'm daring. I'm double dog daring somebody. Uh -huh. Put Vince McMahon's corporate picture face in Zorro's costume, and and you and 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 put a sword in his hand, and you've got Zorro. Yeah, the gay blade. I don't know if he'd like to be termed that or not. Possibly, possibly not. But nevertheless, that was Vince McMahon's and Kevin Dunn's new photos on the, not nude photos, by the way. I don't want anyone to mistake what I said. New, as in recent, photos on the WWE corporate website that were quite a, I didn't look at everybody else. I just saw those. I haven't gone to the site and seen what the fuck all the rest of these shysters look like these days. They've had a whole bunch of turnovers since I was there and saw them in person. What do you think? We're like two years away from Vince, like, having a ponytail? For bleaching his hair blonde. Well, what's he going to do next in this bizarre late life crisis? I'm afraid if he grew that much hair and had it hanging down, it would give him neck trouble. Because he, he also, did you notice that he was wearing what appeared to be a, a suit jacket with no fake shoulders and he has lost some weight? At least maybe they trimmed it. Maybe, but he looked like a normal human being with normal shoulders at his age and stature. You didn't notice that. I didn't notice his shoulders. Or his shoulder uh, my pads. eyes were immediately drawn to his shoulders. Did you wear uh, big shoulder pads with your jackets? If there was shoulder pads in the jacket I bought, I wore them. I didn't go out of my way to artificially inseminate any shoulder pads. All right. But Vince's, it looked like somebody forgot to take the fucking hanger out of his jacket most of the time. 